Okay, so I've got so much to cover, so I'm going to rattle through it. If you've got any questions, then just don't hesitate, put your hand up or anything. Um, and as I say, apologies if I go too quickly or try and cover too much, because we've only got 20 minutes. But as you can see, we've got a, a wide range of items and different brands. Just to start off by saying that Alex Brands is just like an umbrella company for lots of different companies. Um, we're now a top 20 uh, toy company in the world, so we're a fair size, 250 million, which sounds impressive, but really what that means is that we've got a lot of resources to develop new products and different things. So we, do, we have about 40 or 50 different product developers. So even though we've got a lot of different brands, we've got a lot of people working on different things. So we've got a lot of newness coming out, a lot of fresh items, and we cover all the bases. And there are some themes to what we're selling as well. It's not just a hodgepodge of different brands. There is definitely a theme going through in terms of the types of products that we sell, the quality, the value, the price points, the fact that it's not iPads, that type of thing. So that's really what we're trying to do in terms of toys. I wouldn't say toys so much, it's more creative toys, which I think lends itself more to sort of the art and craft channel as well. And you can see a lot of our products are doing that type of, it's that stepping stone, I think, between getting going in craft to being an out and out toy as well. So it's quite a nice, nice uh, segue maybe into some of your own stores where you may be doing more art and craft or high end art type of things. Are you all art stores primarily or a bit of a mixture or mixture? Do you do gifting as well, or toys, or more art, craft, gifts, that type of thing? Okay, and have you, have you all dealt with uh, hills before on these types of items? So you've all got a little bit, so hopefully it's not going to be all new to you. I'm going to start off with the two sort of flagship brands, if I can. So the first one is Janu, which is our French brand. It's premium, it's wood, it's FFC certified, it's quality, it's... It's the number one wooden toy company in France. And when you start looking at the products, you can understand why. Um, everything about this range is about quality and everything is about packaging and presenting everything to its utmost. So you can see we start off with a little racing car. This is our entry level one, starts off at 599. But everything about this is like a nice little item. And a lot of the time it's more gift giving than necessarily just toys. It's a real sort of lifestyle type, type of range. So if I can just pass some of these around. And you can see actually with, um, with, with Janu and I've got this item here which will go a lot of pull along so again with the design but it's actually got some weight behind it as well and you feel like it's going to last a lifetime which more often than not these these will so again they start at 12.99 a lot of the range with Janu is because it's premium it does go up to 200 euros for the bigger pieces but we find normally in a in a specialist type environment we find the 6 to the 30 euro price points the ones that sort of work the best even though and if people want higher items they're more likely to ask for them or you can get them delivered so we try and keep the range slightly slightly within that within that that scope but as you can see there's a lot of nice items in that price area this one here is a nice one and you can just see a lot of what we do is the magnetic oops as i destroy things this is a signature piece for them because it's one of their designs so if i just pass a little magnet around you can see that everything about it is made really nicely. What we find is, is that you really have to have some show pieces on display as well, because if it just gets sold in its box, it's probably not gonna work. You need to really feature five or six items, maybe a bit of display by the side of it. So that's nice. Not only is it wood, but we also go into certain other categories as well. So you can see this puzzles here, this 300 piece. Puzzles are really a nice range with this. Again, same theme is it's a really nice box, presentation box. If I pass this around, you can see it actually feels really nice. And that's 300 pieces for 24.99. We do slightly smaller ones at 22.99. It's not just about making a puzzle. You've also got a little bit of um, finding um, Wally, I think, in there. So it's like an observation game once you've done it as well. What you find is if you put five or six of the jigsaws next to each other on an angle, it really makes an. It's almost an art statement, to be honest, with these uh, designs because they look so nice, and you can feel that they feel real quality when you you're passing those around. So that's a, a really nice range of, of, of those. What we also do is some slightly different, more educational items. So we've got this range called Magnetic Books. So we have about 30 different items within this range. And this is just one example of this. What's nice about it is it looks like a box. It's for travel. So everything comes together. And then you've got the flip up box and then you've got some sort of activity in there. And it's always usually about dressing up or it's about learning or it's hangman or that type of thing. But we have about 30 different themes within this range. And it's a, it's, it's a nice travel item as well. I think it's 19.99 euros, something like that, yeah? 
we've got some slightly bigger ones as well but we do do some displays where you've got a nice collection of them because once you get one it's nice to see what the rest of the range is as well tends to be more girl orientated these ones apart from the educational ones so it's more dress up and that type of thing um, within the range okay so just pass that one around so as you can see we do a really nice range of um, range of sort of wooden products musical instruments are a great range for us this confetti range so I'm going to move on to the blasters in a minute but let's start off with the nice stuff okay so we've got the musical instruments so we've got a ukulele we've got a drum we've got the uh, tambourine you can see I'm music I'm mu very musical kind of yeah but I, this is about my limit actually I've got a little shaker here I can do this one okay and we've got a lot of other different items but they come in these nice little countertops as well so actually they're really nice and easy to present so we do really well with our musical instruments it's all wood so it's a nice little range and they start from like 6.99 for the eggs and they go up to the 19.99 and then you get one mixture of 39.99 with all the instruments in there and you can see you've got some nice, nice thing here. The thing with Janu is it's not one category. It's sort of a, an eclectic mix of different items, different price points, and half its charm is all the, discovering all the different pieces. But it is kind of a preschool range primarily, so it's for the younger age group. We then move over to Alex, which is our other flagship brand. And do most people know Alex at all? Most Alex, mo most people know Alex primarily for the bath set originally. So very strong in bath which is great fun again because being a dad it's always very nice to find things that you can connect with your kids for and these all these things anything in the to in the bath and if it's to do with a uh, basketball or pirates or formula one actually gets dad involved with the kids a little bit more so I don't, everything here we don't sell any any of these in the middle east so much because i don't know if you know in the middle east they don't usually bath their children the, no, the nannies will so there's not much interaction whereas like in europe we spend more time with our kids bathing so it's a little bit of a cultural thing so actually bath time is really important for us so the fact that we've got a lot of toys and things to do really helps helps that that process so that's great um, some of our really best items shaving in the tub drawing in the tub something for everyone really so it's great and again these price points are really nice they used to be quite a lot higher we've brought all those prices down by about 20 percent over the last two three years because we cut out middleman we've now got our own operation in the uk i was going to start off what may, people might not know with Alex now it's grown is it's not just bath it gets into a lot of creative sets it's um, and we start at a very young age so this is 18 months and above not many people go down that low so what this means really is there's no cutting and gluing this is all release paper so you peel it off and then you stick the one thing about Alex is you get a lot of great end results so you've got four pieces in here for the 9.99 and again not many people go down that low for that age group so we start off at the really young age group of four or five items and then, we, and then we sort of go up a little bit older now to more like three to six age group. And again, this is the starter one here. So this is ready, set, cut. Again, if, if anyone's aware of Alex, if you actually play with Alex and take out the contents, it's not just a big empty box syndrome. It, there is really a lot of activity in here. And this is all card and scissors. And even with this item, you can feel there's quite a bit of weight in there. If you, if you pass that one around, it actually feels like, and there's about 30 or 40 different activities in there for 11.99. So really a lot of play value in there, which is good. And that's the start one. So this ready set range is really nice because once you've gone into one, you can do the cut, you can do the paste, you can sculpt. So you've got like almost introduction to so many different activities that you can do, which is in a fun contained way, really. Um, I was saying to the other group that, oh, there we go. This is not necessarily on every kid's uh, Christmas list, ready set school. They don't tend to put this on themselves, but it's a really nice present from your auntie or your uncle. And, you know, it's a little bit more worthy than an iPad or a PlayStation game or whatever. So this is one of our higher end prices. This is more like 30 euros, but you get a lot of contents. There's about four or five different activities in that in that one set. So that's a nice item. So we go up to that's the higher end price point. What we try and do is to keep most of ours below 15, 20 euros. So it's more pocket money and gift giving type price points. As you know, most mostly over 20 euros, you start the starts dropping off quite considerably in terms of toys on this type of thing what we do do though is that we when we start getting up to christmas we start doing bigger bigger boxes and more activities so it becomes more like a 30 pound 40 euro type item so again even if a product's not that heavy we try and show as much contents as we can so you actually get oodles of value in there for that price point whatever alex does is always add something in to help that task along 
So if you're doing friendship bracelets, as we, we put these uh, tools in there to help, help you actually do it. And you can see at the back in terms of how you do it. And even something like knitting, which you think would be fairly straightforward with knitting needles, is we've actually got this tool in here as well which gives you a little bit of a helping hand really to start knitting rather than getting frustrated if you don't know what you're doing. So everything we've got is some sort of tool in there to help with the process. We've got a new one which is learning to embroider and, and, and all of those are coming out with, with some sort of toil, tool in them. So we're known for knitting and sewing and my first and all that type of thing but we also do a lot of that's probably not the best example here, and I can think that if I can see one of my sets I'm looking for. Scrapbooking. Oh, yeah, sorry, there it is. Can I just, so you just pass me the scrapbooking? Yeah, thank you. So we do a lot of medium-sized sets as well, and again, this goes for the tweens, the age group, the girls primarily, 8 to 30, 8 to 12, where they're doing a lot of creative work themselves. Boys tend to fall off a cliff at eight, nine in terms of doing creative stuff. There are a few boys sets, but really primarily it's a girl's activity. So anything to do with scrapbooking, unless, is that what you found as well? Do you primarily, yeah? I mean, if you do get a boy set, I mean, the loom bands was boys, which was one of the one times I've seen them doing it, but that's more of a fashion thing. It tends to be primarily girls. So as much as we try and do it, we try and keep things as pink as possible or, you know, to keep it more girl orientated. So anyway, journals, notebooks, scrapbooking, anything like that is, is always very big for us. And this box size box is really good for us because it's more like at the 15 euro price point as opposed to the bigger set. And this is more going to sort of like the, the Christmas party, or the birthday parties and that type of thing. We also do with other sets, anything to do with tape making or the new one is duct tape. I don't know if you've seen duct tape. We do quite a few duct tape ones as well where you're actually making accessories and things. So, so we do a lot of those sort of creative sets, which is really nice actually because it's sort of like away from mainstream toy you actually actually create something and make it which leads me on to this one here which is again I, I like this one not because it's anything revolutionary but it's learning to cross stitch but it's 5.99 it's a start point we have four designs the good thing about this is it's very simple it takes about an hour and a half most people can do it five plus so that needs a little bit of help but six seven plus but the end result is great you really get a really nice finished piece for an hour and a half for 5.99 all the threads are really bright and nice and actually i don't even think the photo does it justice actually with the with the quality of it it looks really bright and nice and you've got four designs and if you've got nothing to do on a, on a tuesday during easter you give them one of these it'll keep them occupied for a good hour and a half two hours so and it's better than put in front of the tv i think so some really nice sets within the alex range quite educational, quite worthy, I think. That's really where we're coming from, which is where all our items come in. And that sort of lends itself a little bit. Let's talk about Zoob a bit. There's one of these in your packs when you go back. There's five different ways that you can connect it. And there's actually six now, actually, because we bought one now which attaches to uh, a well-known brick that you might know of as well. I, don't, I think that's how we call it. I think it, I don't know what we say on it. Does it connect to, yeah, connects to most bricks. So that's what we have to say. <laughs> So that's quite nice because it adds a new value to it as well in, in terms of connecting to the other, the other company. But there's five different ways. You get a little set that you're taking back tonight, which is one of these. It sort of retails out at 5.99, so it's a real starter set. Five different ways of connecting it. This is one of the more complicated ways of doing it, but you can see you've got, it's nice, you can play with it, different things. Once you start playing, it's kind of a bit addictive. And this one here, this is probably, <laughs> if you get the blues lined up, I've seen this, someone told me that, and you squeeze it in, you can then actually start making a wheel if you do the whole way around. So, and within this, you've got like an inventor's kit, you've got, it's like STEM, I don't know if you know STEM, you know, like it's the new way of educational products. So Zoob is great for that educational side. But we start off with the 20 set, but we've got a 35 and a 55. This one's 12.99. So we've got some quite nice price points. And then we get, start getting into the themes. So this one's really good at 14.99, a 60 piece. So that's a great one. And then we get up to the really larger sets of, what I would suggest is if you do manage to create a little area for Zoob, it'd be so much better we do demo tubs. And if you, and if you just um, get a few of these out for kids to play with or a couple of the 20 sets out and people start playing with it, they, it it's, a great, it's, great, it's a great tactile product. And it gives you a little bit, something a little bit different from, from dare I say it, Lego. 
Um, so it's a really nice item. So it goes up to the really big sets. So this one here is the is the beast of one. This is a Zubatron. I've actually built this. It goes up to that height. It's absolutely huge. But you can make three or four different things and like that, spaceships. But you're really getting into, if people like Zub, they'll look for that and they'll ask for that. Um, but it's probably not the, the first item they're going to buy um, if they don't know the range. So that's great. So that's Zub. Um, I'm going to move over to the, uh, to the blasters. So uh, this is a little, bit of a little bit of a difference now to where we were with the educational. This is a little bit more hardcore toy, if I can say it. Um, but what it is, is that obviously the people who, 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 who own this company before we bought it last year, they actually used to work for Nerf. So in terms of technology wise, it's absolutely excellent. It's, it's as good as you get. They know all the patents, they've got all the molds, they know how to do everything. And they've got two ranges, the Water Warriors and the Air Warriors. So the Air Warriors, we've got this one, which is the latest and the greatest. So it's uh, 22 meters long. So this is the starter one, okay? So we've only got, this one here, 699 for the two dart guns. So this is great when you're doing it for gift, gift giving. I also know for birthday parties, you buy, you buy five packs of these and you can give one out at the end. And it's really good for, for parties, especially boys. I mean, like they have 10 boy friends around. I mean, completely trashes your house. So it's best to do it in the summer outside. But this is, so this is just the entry one in 22 meters. I usually try and get Stefan over there. He's, he's had enough now, but I'm, I'm not sure I've got the camera in the way this time. I was, I was getting really good at this, but. Oh. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. We have a winner. We have a winner. So every so often I get in, but then they're, they're not even reacting now. I've done it so often now. They just like carry on oblivious. So that's, if you can just imagine that's the starter one. I think, I don't think, it's a shame I'm on camera this one. They missed all my other ones, but actually this one here is a 30, a 30 one. And this is actually a pump action one. So I'm, I'm, I haven't filled it up. So this isn't going to work. I'm going to go in the corner. I keep on thinking someone from the canteen is going to come out in a minute. Oh, oh. oh so I'm going to have to uh, cheat a bit here. Maybe I should have refilled it before the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, it's not going to work, I think. No, so I need to refill it afterwards. So we scrub that and we do it again for the camera. But anyway, as you can imagine, that's a 30 dart one again. Very quick. That's a good one. And this one's retailing at 30 euros. So again, quite accessible. So the prices go from 6 euros up to 30 euros. We've got... We've got... <laughs> We've got some other items coming out actually in this range. We've got the license for The Walking Dead, which is the number one TV show in the world actually. It's absolutely huge. Like there are a gazillion million hits every week on YouTube. So they've just done the, the new series, just come out. So we've got five blasters coming out in about two months time, which will be The Walking Dead. So that'd be nice as well. So it gives you something different. And none of these items are in the grocers or anything like that. So it gives you a good opportunity to have a, a, clean, a clean, clean space to work in really while you're doing that. So that's on the on the Air Warriors. And then on the Water Warriors, this obviously is a little bit of a short window in Ireland. Do great in Greece all year round, but uh, no. Does it, does it rain in Ireland at all? Never. No, no, I, I, I came over yesterday and it was uh, chucking down rain, wasn't it? Yeah, so all the, all, all the stereotypical things you think of. Anyway, I'm sure it's, uh, so the one weekend you do have in the summer when it stops raining, you just need to stack these up quick, okay? <laughs> The good thing is though, they're all in our warehouse in the UK, so Hills can bring it in as and when. So if it's a nice summer, you don't have to bring in big pallet loads of stuff. This is a nice one, 14.99. It's got a memory in there, so it, you know, usually when you pump this, it stops and starts as you're pumping the water. This one's got a steady stream, which is hence the name steady stream, very original, but it's got a memory in there. So it means it keeps on going right until the end of the water and then it will stop off dead. But I mean, you're never gonna lose a battle because your water's never gonna ebb and flow. So it's really quite, quite crucial, crucial thing. Okay, and I'm just going to do one more, one more range because I don't even think we talked about backyard safari, did we? No, I've been do I've done this seven times. And I'm not sure what we said to who and where, but I'm just going to talk a little bit about backyard safari because again, this is a great summer item, and it gets everyone outside, which is brilliant in the summer instead of staying inside and playing PlayStation 4 or whatever. So it's all about collecting bugs and being a little bit sciencey, and it's a great boys' item this one as well. So. So you, first thing is you scoop up all your bugs. So you go around, go around your husband, do all the stuff. Yeah, and then afterwards, then you then put it in receptacles. So you get the smaller ones like this. This is a critter shack. As you can tell, it's quite American. So this is a critter shack. And then if not, you go up to slightly bigger ones like the bug pods, or you can go up to real sort of like land and water environments and you can start going really big. Um, you've got other items in here as well, like a bug watch, so you're really nice. You can actually capture your bug and put it in a watch and then walk around with it all day, which is absolutely marvellous, isn't it? 
<laughs> it's a real it's a real must that one so the kids love that so you do that and on the other side of it as well it's not just about catching bugs it's a little bit more educational than that as well so you've got things to study all the bugs like you've got field scopes or you've got storm catches to learn about weather you've got loads of little activities to do outside in the summer which is really nice so you've got a lot of items like this and for the real anoraks of the kids who love this product once they get into it they buy everything they start kitting themselves out as well with a little vest and a little hat and you get a little brain and you can put a couple of the blasters in there as well and you can go out there with the hoover and your gun and no it's all good stuff <laughs> but this is really nice for summer because normally toy is more sort of quarter four isn't it so it's quite a nice different activity in the summer which is great so that's it and uh, did i talk about the uh, clue i didn't did i do you all know about Kalu? Um, I can't talk about Kalu because I'm running out of time and the other people are coming. All I'm going to do though is just throw a few of these out here and shoot it at the same time. No, but they are the cutest things. Okay, I'll do this. So one thing I would say is Kalu. They all come in these presentation boxes. So they're called the uh, hat boxes. So if you have six or seven on a little stand, great for newborns or whatever, giving gift giving. This is really good. It goes up from this sort of size to the larger size. The comforters are usually the cheap, uh, better, they go well at 20, 20 euros, it goes up to the higher ones. But the only thing I would say is we've got a new range coming out, which is called Kalu Rouge, which is slightly lower price point. It doesn't come in the boxes, but it starts at 10 euros, it goes up to 20 euros. But it's so soft, it's got the little French stitching on the back, the red, and it's got all nice, nice stuff. So I'll just throw that over there and shoot it. But they're really cute, all the stuff. So it's really nice little range as well.